One thing to look at and be aware of is a mutual fund style box. Uh, there's a term out there called style drift, where a, a mutual fund might say, we're a large cap value fund, right? A, a mutual fund might say that, and that might even be in their name. But then over time, maybe you have a new management team or the management team, if it's an actively managed fund, decides to go a different direction. And so they're maybe investing instead of large cap value funds, maybe they're, uh, or value stocks, maybe they're investing more in mid cap type stocks or more mid cap growth. The style box will show you the current position of the fund, the Morningstar style box, and go to Morningstar.com, put a mutual funds ticker symbol or search by the quote for the mutual fund, and you can find a Morningstar style box. Also, mostly all mutual fund companies have the Morningstar style box or a similar box in the description of any of their mutual funds because they want investors to know, you know, this is what our investment philosophy is for this fund. So it's important to look at this, and uh, let's take a moment to just kind of look at the box and understand what's going on here. And the idea behind it is you have these different buckets, right? You have nine different spaces, basically. Um, and your fund fits into one of those buckets, at least, at least partially in there, that's the idea of the fund. So, for example, uh, on the right-hand side, you have large, medium, and small. As we learned, that's large cap, medium cap, or small cap based on their market capitalization. So it doesn't necessarily follow 100%, but typically, let's say a large company like uh, Apple or Amazon will be a large cap company where a smaller startup that is publicly traded might be a small or mid-cap type company as far as its market capitalization. Um, so if you're interested in, you know, let's say stocks like Apple and Amazon, you want to look for large cap stocks. Uh, then along the bottom, it has things like value, blend, and growth. And as we know, growth is growth stocks, things that you want to have outperform the market from a capital appreciation. You want the buy low as far as the stock price, you want the stock price to grow and grow rapidly faster than the industry, the sector, and the greater market, hopefully. Uh, you want these to be high flyer, so those are growth stocks. Value stocks tend to be more of the uh, well-established stocks, you know, the players who might be paying more dividends, for example. It's not necessarily value from a value investing standpoint as far as a beaten down or contrarian stock or an underperforming stock. You could have that with the other ones, and sometimes that's called value investing. But with these style boxes, value might be a little bit more oriented towards income or dividend producing stocks or stocks that are not growing as fast as other stocks, but might be great stocks for you know, safer, longer term growth and maybe pay a dividend as well, which could be a great investment. So we have those two ends, value and growth. Blend would be where a mutual fund is maybe buying both of those types of funds or excuse me, both of those types of stocks in an overall blend of each of those. So for example, the S&P 500, the S&P 500 stock fund or any S&P 500 stock fund, uh, Vanguard is the most famous for that, but Fidelity, Schwab, everybody seems to have a Fidel, uh, an S&P 500 fund. If you take the 500 largest United States stocks, which is what an S&P 500 fund is, you're going to have a mixture of growth stocks like you know Apple and Amazon and value stocks, you know ones that pay dividends like maybe Coke or Johnson Johnson. And you're going to have that mixture in those big 500 large companies. So that's where it would be a blend. So you basically have a matrix here, right? So if I'm looking for a large cap growth stock, maybe somebody like Google, a large big company, but I want it to really grow and I think it's going to grow or the mutual fund that's buying it thinks it's going to grow, it would fit in that large cap growth box. And that's, you know, when you look at a mutual fund, if you're looking for stocks that fit that box, you know, you, this box will help you to, this matrix will help you to select that. Versus, let's say, if I'm looking, I'm interested in small stocks, I want to, get these newer companies, these, these just brand new, maybe publicly traded companies, these small companies, maybe a small high tech company, uh, and, but I want it to be a real growth stock, or maybe it's a, pharmaceutical or, or healthcare company that's small, but they got a wonder drug that may be coming. So they might be a small on the small side, but they might be really, really a growth type thing. So I'm looking for it to be a small growth type stock. Uh, like I said, the blend stocks tend to be those mixtures like a mid cap or a small cap or a large cap where there's a blend of each of them and value tends to be dividend or income producing stocks. So if I'm looking for, let's say large dividend paying stocks, you know, which typically larger companies or companies that pay dividends tend to be larger ones. They don't have to be, but tend to be. Well, then I might be in the large value box as far as a large dividend in producing stock. So the idea behind this, it helps me to select mutual funds or chain trade funds that might meet my needs based on this style box without having to go through a list of maybe tens or twenties or hundreds of different types of stocks to try to figure out what it is. The Morningstar box does it for you and kind of says, oh, this is this kind of box or this type of fund. And watch also for this style drift. Like if you're investing, looking for dividend paying uh, value, large cap value dividend paying stocks, 
uh, and it starts to drift to more, more of a blend, well, then you're picking up more growth stocks and less dividend stocks. So that might be not what you're looking to do because it's shifted. It's trying to, it's trying to move you know, away from that, that style box. Even though it might, the name of the fund might say, you know, the XYZ company, large dividend growth company fund, um, it might start to shift to be more of a, you know, just the growth part versus let's say the income or the value part. So that's the Morningstar style box or a style box for mutual funds. And when you're evaluating mutual funds, look at that, you'll find it in the portfolio sections of a mutual fund or in the holdings area. If you're looking at mutual funds and look at that style box and make sure that style box is meeting your needs as an investor. Otherwise, look at another investment that does.